Wagwan lads, in this video I'll go through how to adjust my NBA model to account for mid-season player trades. Now in this particular simulation we have two teams, Utah and Cleveland, each with a probability of winning along with an expected score. However, when we look at Utah's plays, Malik Beasley appears, who, as you know, would play for the Lakers right now rather than Utah. So our model has done something wrong, and I'll show you what. So go into the Raw Player Data Worksheet, and scroll all the way down to Malik Beasley. But here we see three Malik Beasleys instead of just one. This is because Beasley was traded mid-season from the Jazz to the Lakers, so the Raw Data has actually created another row for him. Therefore, our model thinks that Beasley is playing for Utah and the Lakers simultaneously, which we'll have to fix up. So the first row is his season total stats, and then the two rows below that uh, are his stats, which belong to Utah and Lakers respectively. So this TOT, uh, by the way, stands for total stats. And what I want to do is grab Beasley's total stats for the season, but make his team only his current one. So that's going to be Lakers rather than Utah. So to do this, come on over to the column AE and insert a border to separate the raw data from our slightly transformed data, which we'll create next. Before we do that, though, if you want to contact me directly to ask questions about this or any other Excel lad model, follow me on Twitter at Excel underscore lads. I've managed to tremendously help some of my subscribers through Twitter. So it's important you go ahead and give me a follow along with subscribing to this channel on YouTube to become an official lad. Back to the video and in column AE we're going to create a list of unique players under our little header here. So type in unique players and then right under this cell type in the formula equals unique. Open bracket and our array is the range B3 to B1000 which covers all current and future plays that could be included by the raw data, which, if you watched last video, we've imported through a updating Power Query. Now close the bracket and hit enter, and the result should come up and be perfect, like it is here, Malik Beasley and all other traded players only appear once, so that's good. Uh, there's one slight bug in the formula in that it returns a zero value at the bottom here, this doesn't matter at all for our calculations, but for the sake of tidiness, I'm going to slightly alter the formula so that if the unique formula returns a zero, so I'm going to create an if function, if unique equals zero, return nothing, denoted by uh, two speech marks with nothing in them. If it doesn't, just return the original formula, unique B3 to B1000. Close bracket close bracket, hit enter, and you can see that the zero has disappeared. Great. Now in the column immediately to the right, which we'll name current team, I want to match every player to their current team. So let's type in the formula equals X lookup. And for the lookup value, we're looking up our unique player immediately to the left. Our lookup array is the list of players in B3 to B1000, which of course we absolute reference as we don't want uh, the range to change as we drag down. Our return array is their team. Again, E3 to E1000, and I want to make sure that you absolute reference this. This is critical. However, I want to alter this X lookup slightly so that the team it returns is the player's current one. So type in three commas and for search mode, select the negative one option, which searches last to first. That'll return a player's current team rather than their first or old team. All right, so this is good to go. However, I'm going to wrap it in an if error function, uh, returning a speech mark, a speech mark, aka nothing if there's an error. And then I'm going to do an if formula, as we did a minute ago, so that if the formula returns a zero, make the zero go to nothing. If not, return the original function. And I'm just doing this so that if I hit, so if I press enter on the original function, below it there may be some reference errors or zeros, and it just looks untidy. I just want to tidy everything up for you. Hit enter, and I want you to manually drag this formula down to row 1000, rather than just double clicking as there may be some new players when the data is updated that we still want to be included by the formula. Once you've done that, double check that Malik Beasley's status as a Laker is correct, or any other example of your choice, and it is, so that means our formula is correct so far. 
Now lads, we have to use the info we've gotten in these two columns to fix the error of a player appearing for two teams at the same time. So go into the player working tab and I'm going to adjust the formula here to make sure that out of the players highlighted, only those who currently play for the Jazz will be left. So in this formula, all we have to do, and it's extremely simple, is replace all E ranges with AF and all B ranges with AE. Let's do it together. So we replace the B with AE, the E with AF, skip the result E2 because that's not, not part of raw play data. These E's go to AF. Let's do the same thing for E3, AF3, and then for E3 to E3, it's just AF3 to AF3. It's that simple. You just replace E with AF and B with AE. Drag this all the way down to cell A30 and our list updates. And it's updated to the current players. We can double check. Uh, you can see that Malik Beasley has been completely removed, which means that it's worked properly. So lads, you can do the same thing for the away side. And again, B, what does that go to? AE, again, AE3 to AE1000. E, that goes to AF, AF3 to AF1000. Again, skip the result. That's not part of the raw player data. In your model, it should be AF3 to AF1000. There's a bit of a, a typo here. It doesn't matter, though. AF3 to AF3. Hit enter. Jared Allen comes up. He is the first player for Cleveland. Drag that down to A60 and our list update so that only the players playing for Cleveland right now appear. Great. So, lads, now you've fixed everything back up and we can go back into the results tab to see our results. Malik Beasley and other non-current Jazz players have been completely removed from the squad, and we can actually take a look at how this affects the matchup by going into the Data tab and refreshing all our data with this icon. Click that, and the worksheet might go white like this, especially if there's a lot of data. And we can see that when compared to the start of the video, Utah have been given a better chance of winning according to the calculations of our updated data. Make sure you subscribe to become an official lad and don't miss the next videos on my NBA model. They'll include how to factor in player injuries and how to make a spread betting calculator with these stats.